that that was the, the purpose. Hurts. That was the purpose of the Hayoka in the Lakota tribes. Look, oh, you were telling me about yeah, that. That's the wild. Sacred clown. Yeah, they had someone who would mock everything. Yeah, because if there was something that could be mocked, if it made people laugh, then you knew that it was true, or yeah. that it was bullshit, right. or that the thing was it was easily mocked. It was yeah. a stupid thing, yeah. and they used that to sort of test, like whether or not their thoughts were being corrupted, and and, and whether or not they were like being delusional right. and looking at things incorrectly. Like the court jester. Yeah. I think the court jester jester was supposed to keep the king honest. Was he really? I think that was part of his function, was to show that the king could be be in on the joke. How many of those guys got their dicks cut off and stuffed in their mouth? Dude, you want to talk about the history of stand-up comedy. That was the first comedian. Yes. The court jester. And and he had skin in the game. Nowadays, anybody can show up to an open mic night. You know, you work in marketing for FedEx during the day, (laughs) but you come out at night, you put on a funny tie, and you get up and do five minutes. If you bomb, whatever, it hurts a little bit. But if you're the court jester and you bomb, they just off kill with you. his head. They'll just kill you for fun. Yeah. Like, that's one of the things that we love about watching, like, Game of Thrones or any of those, like, I know they're fantasy. But they're supposed to be depicting a time in which there was no electronics and yeah. no civilization was crazy. People just killed people. Yeah. They just decided I'm going to kill them and no one could do damn thing about it. Right. They'll just beat you to death in front of everybody in the middle of like a dining hall and no one stops it. And you realize like, well, this is what people did to each other back then. Yeah. And if someone just decides that you've dishonored the queen with your jester ways, they're just going to chop your dick off yeah. in front of everybody and stuff it in your mouth where you scream and bleed out yeah. on the stairs <laughs> to the throne. <laughs> and they and they barely pay attention because yeah. they see it every day. They're it's yeah. not even they're not even aghast by your death, dude. The whole Dracula, um, the whole myth of Dracula, like the the Dracula story, the 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 Bram Stoker version of Dracula, came out of this this legend of Vlad the Impaler, Vlad Tepes, who was a guy who was a real guy who lived, who used to torture the enemy and impale them on spa- on spikes in front of him while he ate dinner. No shit. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Look at how he, what he used to do. So here's Vlad the Impaler. There's a, a depiction of him. So uh, he lived Vlad Dracula, or Vlad Dracula. Um, he lived in 1476... Somewhere around there? Is that what it says? Let's see. Go to his... Uh... That was his third reign. He reigned a oh. few different times, which uh, I wonder who, how that worked, who took over while he was not reigning. But for this guy, Vlad Tepes, Vlad the Impaler, Vlad Dracula, he uh, was known for... Um, <clears throat> he would cut pieces of, uh, a, of, of a prisoner's flesh off and force them to eat it. Wow. He did like horrific shit. So it was uh, 1420, what does it say? 23? <clears throat> 1428 to 1431. Somewhere around then he was born. He died somewhere around 1476. So he's like 45 to 49 years old when he died. They're not sure. But during that time, he was fucking terrifying. 